is that you, dear? Are you... Oh, my dear one, you look absolutely darling in your new outfit. Yellow is definitely your color. Come here, let me get a closer look at you. Yes, it's lovely. You really brighten up the room, just by being in it. How does it feel on you? I hope it's comfortable. Good. I imagine you haven't had many opportunities to wear silk before. I just can't get enough of it. And right now, I can't get enough of you either. Now, I have to warn you that you'll be doing today is a little different than most days. Ordinarily, during decoration duty, you would just make some light conversation with me as I go about my business when I'm in the room. But, even though you haven't been here long, I've singled you out for a special occasion. Oh, no need to be nervous, dear one. It's written all over your face. No, although this is important, you really don't need to do much. You see, I'm having a, a very important meeting today. There's a noble from a foreign country coming to visit. All I need you to do is stay by my side during the discussion. Yes, that's all. You may speak if someone addresses you, but otherwise there's no need to do anything other than be your charming self. Still, I do apologize that I'm involving you in my work so soon. I really do try to start out small most of the time, but I can be quite opportunistic. And I just can't help but think that you'll suit my purposes flawlessly. You have a face that's both innocent and inviting, which is just perfect for today. Oh, and I've also decided that we'll be doing our feeding before the meeting. Don't worry, I promise I won't get any blood on your darling new outfit. Hmm? Oh, well, it's mostly just for extra effect. When dealing with nobles, it's very important to keep them from thinking they have power over you. That's why we're meeting in my home in the first place, and it's why I want you to have visible bite marks. My bites heal quickly, so for the best effect, feeding immediately before the meeting will be best. Oh. But I hope you don't get the impression that we need to rush. This is your first real feeding, after all. I've allotted plenty of time so that it can be special. With that in mind, sit a little closer to me, won't you, dear? Much better. You know, I think that being so close together for so long is half the reason I enjoy feeding. It feels like we're connecting on a deeper level. Now, show me your neck. Do you remember where I bit you before? I doubt you'd easily forget. Um, I, I don't think I told you last time just how wonderfully delicious you are. The flavor is, oh, how to describe it, not exactly sweet, but delicate. Yes, very delicate, and so warm. You run a higher temperature than most, and it makes that delicate flavor fill my mouth, despite its subtlety. I need more, much more. <laughs> so, darling, the way you gasp like that. Are you feeling a bit overwhelmed? Oh, don't worry, my dear one. You'll get more accustomed to it as time goes on. Bear with me for now, but you can keep gasping and fidgeting if you like. I rather enjoy it so long as you keep your neck still for me. <laughs> That's it. For being so good, I'll be sure to pamper you well for being so brave. I think... I shouldn't, but... Oh, just a bit more. Warn me if you start feeling lightheaded, dear. <sighs> that was absolutely splendid. I don't play favorites with my dear ones, but, well, let's just say that I'll be especially excited for feeding time whenever your turn comes around. Now, let me clean you up. You probably noticed, but I have plenty of warm water, cloth, and bandages ready. No need to worry about sterilization. Vampire saliva takes care of that naturally. Now, show me your neck again, dear, so I can get you nice and clean. Ah, lovely. I'm really quite thrilled you... Oh, I'm thrilled with you, my dear one. You have a nice easy spot to sink my fangs into, your blood tastes wonderful, and you clean up and heal so easily. It's almost like you were born for this. Now... Let me just apply the bandage. But remember, you want to show off your bite marks with pride. So, you must make sure to take it off before the meeting. Hmm. 
I see you're looking more relaxed than before. That's perfect. I'm glad you react that way to feedings. I'd like you to do your best to keep that relaxed demeanor when our guest arrives. I want it to be clear to him that you are cons oh, well, content living here with me. You are content here, I hope. Ah, I'm glad. Aside from my work, making sure my dear ones are happy is the top priority in life. Or undead, I suppose. Hmm? Oh, that's right. I suppose I haven't really explained what I do. Well, I don't think there's really a name for it, but essentially I'm involved in politics. More specifically, I back people who want more power, both financially and through my contacts. In return, I charge a down payment, and I'm promised reimbursement after they achieve their goal. I know, it's certainly an unusual occupation, but as a vampire who's lived for centuries, I've been able to accumulate a tremendous amount of wealth and allies. This is the best way I've found to make proper use of them. Take the man who that we'll be meeting today as an example. He used to be a low-ranking noble in a monarchy very few, well, far from here. I'm in the process of installing him as the new king. Honestly, this has been one of the easier jobs I've done. This nation has been suffering from a terrible famine, so the common folk were already frustrated. I just sent in some people to rile them up further, and then give them the idea to storm the castle to get out the royal food supplies. During this meeting, we'll be going over how I'll be installing him as the new monarch. What's the matter, dear? You seem concerned. Ah, well, I'll admit that my business is morally grey at best. But when you get to be as old as me, you realize that often these changes mean very little in the long run. I do, of course, avoid taking clients that I believe will be tyrants. Chances are, anything my client chooses to do as king will be written over in the coming generations, much as they would if the original king had remained in power. Another question. My, my, you're very inquisitive this evening. What is it? Ah, that's true. I didn't go into much detail about why exactly I want you to be there for the meeting. Basically, you're a reminder. Whenever my client looks at you, he'll be reminded of both my power and my kindness. You demonstrate my power by being in my possession. The simple fact that you and the other dear ones belong to me shows how wealthy I am able to take care of all of you, really. And by showing off your bite mark, I remind him of my ancient and powerful vampiric nature. But more than that, the fact that you are well-fed, well-dressed, and happy will ensure he understands that I believe in treating people well. If he plans to be a compassionate ruler, it will reassure him that we have the same ideals. If he plans to be cruel, he will know that he risks angering me. I can already tell that you can fulfill this role for me perfectly. You're so cute and a little bit timid. Most of all, your gentle face is so calming. Honestly, I could go on and on about you, but let it suffice to say that you're just what I need for today. Oh, that's so sweet of you to say, but you don't need to repay me for anything. I don't consider you to be in my debt at all. Just being your darling sweet self has made you more than worth the cost of buying. Now, let me remove the bandage so we can see how your bite marks look. Ah, it's perfect. The bleeding has stopped, but you can tell the marks are fresh. Until it heals completely, there will be no doubt to anyone who sees that you belong to me. Now, my client should be arriving any moment. Until he gets here, let's enjoy each other's company a bit longer, shall we? <laughs>